So welcome to episode 2 of our look at the amazing cultivation simulator. Last time we set up a really nice little building and everything looks fine. However, it turns out we did it all wrong because we didn't take account of feng shui, which is a very important aspect of the game. So this time round we're going to have to redesign our base. So for the best feng shui you do need to have your bedrooms with their doors facing south, um, which doesn't really occur for most of our rooms. Uh, so, I don't know, we're going to have to, I think, build a, a whole set of new rooms. We can repurpose these for other purposes. Uh, so I'm going to build this out of timber, just because it's cheap and available. Later on we'll have to build rooms out of specific materials, like ice crystal for water reasons, um, copper and bar for fire reasons and stuff like that. But for these um, boring old outer disciples who aren't aligned to anything, we'll just make wooden uh, rooms. I'll do it separate to the main base for now. Let's just do a really long one. Let's... Let's give them decent sized rooms. Slightly bigger than what they've got at the moment, I think. There's four of them. While they're busy building there, I'm going to build a dining table. Uh, we'll have to probably move this later on because the kitchen... Oh, hello! <laughs> Things are <laughs> lying on the floor. Uh, because the kitchen has actually got the door on the wrong side. Well, actually, that's the good door. Uh, that's facing west. But the eastern door, that's bad. That's killing the feng shui. Uh, which is something that we don't really necessarily need to worry about yet, particularly, but it will be as we go. Uh, I need to build more flooring. So just some wood offcuts, a hundred of those, that'll do the trick. And then I can actually um, build floors there, and it, that will be very nice indeed. Uh, so the kitchen the kitchen thing. I don't know if I... I think I might move the kitchen to over this side. Unfortunately, that'll be moving all this as well. Um, but that's okay, because everything can be moved. Uh, so um, it, it just takes a little bit of labour. Fog! There's fog! That would presumably do something, but ooh, I don't know. Never come across fog before. And what I should do is move move the mysterious cultivator because apparently um, he's he's a good source of tips and everything. But also you're supposed to apparently give him a, a room made of like fire elements, so copper, um, and he'll be happier, possibly help you out better. I'm not quite sure exactly why, but that does seem to be the tip. And you can also look, you can see what other people have actually said in real life by clicking the little speech bubble, and people will actually tell you stuff. And you can upvote the best comments, such as, This guy stole my only bed. Yep, <laughs> that apparently happens to everyone. So one of our lads is talking to the mysterious cultivator, and he gives little just tips. I mean, they're not particularly that exciting, whatever, but he'll tell you things like, um, Dried meat um, is good for storing, which is why I'm, I'm cooking up a lot of that at the moment. The bills... Oh, no, I haven't. I'm, I need to actually put this bill on. Let's do that endlessly. So every time they hunt meat, they can do that. Speaking of which, there isn't actually that much to hunt at the moment. Oh, there's a bull. Female bowl. Looks a bit tasty though. Looks like we found another source of iron ore. Dark steel! Ooh! Okay, now it's morning. I'm going to move the beds. Move. 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 While they're doing that, let's start thinking about um, our new kitchen. So I'm just going to have to replicate these, these rooms over on this side, I guess. And the only trouble is, uh, I only want one door leading in and out of the, the kitchen for reasons of feng shui. But we need two doors, one to get into the kitchen and one to get into the freezer. So I'm going to have to work out how exactly how I'm going to do this on this side. Uh, okay. If we, I think I'll build... I've been building e pretty much everything out of bloody iron. Um, that was because I wasn't really thinking about it, but we had plenty of iron and we still do. Um, iron is more fire resistant, um, but wood is a lot cheaper. So I think this side... Oh, actually, the kitchen... I think the kitchen is the one place I definitely do want to make out of iron, so I'll I'll do that. Iron, fire element. Oh no, that's nope, no, 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 that's not the wrong, wrong thing. Iron is actually not fire element. Uh, let's put that here. Oh my god, hang on, I was just about to start talking about bedrooms. I have a visitor. You can try and persuade him to join your sect. So we need a charismatic social skill, lad. All right. Everyone's getting hurt, but I think it's probably just like, um, yeah, that's not, not an issue. So, passerby. Oh, there he is. Right in the middle of everything. So, let's try and persuade him. Let's see who's social and charismatic and all that. Right, so R2, the musical genius and blood brother and gifted artist and warrior, does seem, he's got social rating of, I think it's five. Uh, oh, hello, Bunk Pipe is more social though. Uh, whereas Danger Lad, Tiny Froggy, not so much. So I'm not sure if I have to, like, select Bung Pipe for this, but... Oh, here we go. Perfect. Bung Pipe. Right. Good. Uh, Bung Pipe is actually, um... Oh, I didn't actually realise this. They are, they, are, they are medicating each other. 
and uh, because you know, Bung Pipe was hurt, but he's he's currently um, on the healing balm to sort himself out. So let's have a go. See what you're gonna do. Have we have a chatty poos? It's a quite a long th uh, conversation. This it's gonna take another few seconds before it gets to the end of this bar up here. Tumty tumty tum. Get a move on. We have places to be. Will he join us? Oh, holy shit. Yes. <laughs> we have a new member. Oh, God. We haven't actually given him... A well, I've got a billion bedrooms now. But what I'm probably going to do is, um, at some point, when um, these characters become um, inner disciples, they'll become aligned to certain laws and therefore have a certain element which we have to um, satisfy. So this room is made of um, random old crap. Um, I think it's just wood. Um, but we may need to um, give them rooms built of a different material to satisfy their whole elemental needs. Like, if you're not, like an earth lad, you need a fire-based room. Uh, the cultivator, apparently, is an earth-based lad. And we can tell that over here. Uh, this screen isn't available yet to most of the characters, because this is a, a, a proper disciples, cultivators type um, screen. But yeah, so he, that's, this is why you should give him a fire room, because he's an earth guy. It all works. It all makes sense, if you if you play the tutorials. Although, to be fair, I've forgotten most of it already. Uh, oh, just over here, interestingly. I, I see a, a... A new secret is unlocked. You have opened the mystery page. <laughs> I have, have I? The secret is apparently a secret. Oh, but on the character tab, we've got something. Hmm, maybe it's just that we don't know who this person is yet. The character's favour to your sect, zero. The maximum favour is 60 before the character opens up. Talk about their hobbies can help them open up. I think we won't, we won't prioritise him for now. We'll let him do his business. Actually, let's see what sort of stuff he's into. Uh, apparently he's, he's a really good healer. Ooh. Well, let's take off Tiny Froggy then. We don't want his crappy hands, his crappy lizard hands touching things. Oh, he's a good farmer. Tiny Frog is a great farmer. So I've almost finished my new kitchen slash freezer. I'm going to make it so they have to go out, out of the kitchen here and then back in again. Oh, he's off. Well, fine. He's gone. Little shit. So let's move. Uh, the kitchen can go... Well, the thing can go there, that can go there. And then we also need to redesignate the storage area. And also put some new flooring in. So it looks like the kitchen and the uh, the freezer are both looking rather splendid. We've got spare rooms here. I'll probably turn these into workshops, because workshops need to have doors on the eastern side. I think what I'll do is I'll demolish that door and replace it with a, a wall. Iron. And then, yeah, we can just move things around. Um, I'll take out, have to take out that door as well. And put it over here, I think. These can be two separate workshops for reasons unknown to anyone, really. So we are running low on food, I just realised, and we've got ten. So I've set everyone harvesting away. Various places. So that should keep the wolves from the door a little bit longer. The wheat um, is only 50% grown. I'm gro also growing some other things as well, like pear trees and poplars. And Actually, poplars aren't edible, but <laughs> whatever. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff we do need to make sure that we do get. There's an old box under this tree, which um, I literally only just noticed. Hang on. Oh, there's a bull! There's a raging bull. Butcher this animal for products. We could we could do with killing this. It's dead. That was easy. <laughs> Fair enough. I think it was... Yeah, by the time I noticed what was happening, that, that had happened. We've got loads of meat! Excellent stuff! Also, that old box has just been opened, and we have... Oh, wood. Possibly the least important thing we could possibly have got, I think. Excellent stuff. So let's start moving a few things into these rooms as well. I don't, think that's, I don't think that's in front of the door. Furnace, I don't really want to necessarily put that in, an in a really small room. Oh, we could put it in, we'll put it in here. Actually, are, we are cooking some ice crystal up at the moment. But, but then we can temperature control this room independently of this workshop up here, so that might be a thing worth doing. Just that little bit of water there, which is really annoying, but never mind. Have we assigned this bed? Uh-oh. <laughs> a raid. Uh, we've got bugger all reputation. We haven't even got a sex set up yet, so this is probably, hopefully, just going to be fairly trivial. Apparently, um, the new person who's now renamed Dr. Mate 
He's already got that bed. So, he's right at the very bottom of things. It's just one bloke. Now, I haven't actually done battle before. Unfortunately, I have got no weapons or anything. I should probably have thought about that before anything happened. Uh, let's just see if I've got any weapons I can quickly knock up whilst we're paused. I'm hoping we can make a couple of bows. Ten bows will do. <laughs> uh, thankfully, we've just moved the um, handicraft station. This might just be a case of punching them in the, punching them in the face as, when they turn up. I don't know yet. Oh, I've still built the dining room. Ooh. Well, I don't know where that's supposed to be, whether the dining rooms have feng shui. Let's just make a... any old bloody table will do. That'll be the dining room, then we can always turn it into a proper room, if that becomes necessary. It might need another west face. Hello! It's okay, it's fine. It's, it's, it's tiny froggy. The enemy still hasn't shown up. Looks like Danger Lad is getting busy making bows. Forming pills? Uh, regulates the uh, the chi. Um, it increases perception, constituent, co constitution, and intelligence by 30% for 48 hours. Can significantly increases foundation training progress. Ooh. Well, R2, I think you should eat that thing that we just talked about but I can't find. <laughs> Is that it? Forming pill, that's it. So if you eat that, your foundation level should shoot up. Oh, you're, you're having a mine in a moment. Oh, hello. <laughs> You've turned. Uh-oh. Come on, rabbit attack. Right. Tonkin with your pickaxe. Let's send in some reinforcements. Equip you with the bow. Go on, bung pipe. No. D d d d equip. Oh, it's just buggering off over there. Are you getting the bow? Yes, you are. Right. Attack. You. Let's see if this works. This is very basic fighting stuff. There's, um, it gets a lot more adva- Oh. <laughs> Never mind, Bung Pipe. <laughs> uh, yeah, she was fairly easy to defeat. Our reputation is so bad, they only sent one person after us. Now, can we- oh, unconscious, so they're not dead. Right, let's search them. R2 is losing, by the looks of it, is losing mood. Uh, we better have try and find a way of improving that. Oh, promote! Oh, holy shit! I forgot we did that, like, five seconds ago. Um, they ate the formation drink, uh, and now they've actually got the foundation to become an inner, inner disciple. Also, we've got an ancient casket. Where did that come from? <laughs> let's open it. Um, bung pipe. Open the casket. Where did this come from? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yes. So, R2 needs to be promoted. And now we have to choose a law. Okay. This is... Uh, there's a tutorial to this, and you're supposed to choose something that's got a good match. Um, already, I mean, the very first one, the 16 Supreme Steps law um, does seem to be the highest match. Otherwise, that's 59% and piss. 107% but not obtained. And then whatever. So this is a water element thing. One of the true element laws of the sect, including four states and the 16 blah 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 blah. It is not easy to reach a higher state in this law, but it does not require much to begin with. You will make steadfast progress in cultivation, and immortality eh, may eventually happen. So this is basically like a research screen. Um, if we get them all the way to the Golden Core, that's a very good thing. But then they, become, they can become masters to other people. In osmosis, chant of the rapids... Eureka Pill! Enlightened Awakening, all sorts of stuff, really. Let's choose that. You have to experience the first tribulation before doing core shaping, are you sure? Yeah. Right, so that means, whilst we wait for someone, well, I think everyone's asleep, whilst we wait for that casket to be opened, we've got Bullhide as well. And let's see. Oh, okay, we haven't We haven't quite got this yet. We haven't got the um, that posh, posho screen yet. Um, I think we have, we still have to wait just a little longer. But look, you are glowy now. Are oh, you in Epiphany? Oh, okay. So when that's finished, maybe that's maybe this screen will open up. Let's see. It's almost finished. Go on, Epiphanate. Epiphanate. There we go. Someone among us has broken through. This one can suddenly feel the strong energy between heaven and earth. Chi. The gate of cultivation is finally open for us. 
It has become visible. You can establish a sect now. Now this screen has become unlocked and we can see all sorts of nonsense. Um, this is a whole thing. This is a whole thing, which um, is all in the tutorial at the moment, so I'm going to have to go and refresh myself on that. Apparently you're currently stable. You're a water element thing, so we, we, need, to make, we need to make them a bedroom that, uh, that satisfies water. Uh, which apparently is a bedroom made of metal, according to my notes. So irritatingly, I've just moved him from a bedroom made of metal to a, a wooden bedroom. <laughs> Cock. One thing I might do, because your mood is so bad, is I'm going to aim for you to train your mind. Continue to adjust mental state until pristine. So essentially, he's going to all the practice that he does is going to be towards mood improvements. Because I think we're going to, we desperately need that at the moment. Yes, it's going up at the moment. The mood was going up, but now we stopped training that. But it's, it's going to start slacking off, according to this. Oh yeah, we're searching the body now. Excellent stuff. We got a red fabric sect uniform, some pants, and some stone, and all that. So now we can actually establish this sect. I just, I'm just a bit worried about R2, who's... Um, I think he's slacking off now, because he's, um, yeah, his, his mood has fallen too much. Oh, hello, Froggy. You're doing some whole arsery, I think. So we do need to make you happier. He's be beginning to dance. So here's what we'll do. In the next episode, we'll attend to this R2 problem because look at his look at his mood uh, modifiers. Uh, we need to give him a proper place to sleep because at the moment this is horrible. And so we've experienced our first battle as well. Um, and we've uh, all we've got to do now is establish our sect, and we'll be good to go for the next episode. Create sect. What do we call it? Call, we'll call it the school for scoundrels, so... There, yeah, scoundrel school. Lack of leader. We need someone to be the leader. And uh, we've unlocked more stuff. So we'll sort out the leader next time, because I want to make sure that we, we, we do well there. Yeah, that's where we establish the leader. There's the disciples. We've got one inner disciple, R2, and we've got four outers. Plus also... <laughs> God only knows what. And diplomacy, nothing doing there. So as you say, we'll, we'll sort that out shortly. And um, we still have to open this casket. There we go. <laughs> Obscure by an auto, auto bloody save. It didn't work. We were unable to do it. For some reason. Maybe you just haven't got the talent. Oh, well, that'll have to be a cliffhanger or some kind of thing. Okay, so we'll put this up in another episode. I think this is worth a, a continuing into a series because I'm enjoying this and I think you are too. So do let me know in the comments if you are. Um, thanks very much. Subscribe to Randomized User if you're not already a subscriber. And you know, do all the usual things as well. Like leave a like and leave a comment and all that. Bye for now.